guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a video on my green amoeba. So, one little quick disclaimer for these guys. This is based on my experience handling and keeping these animals. I've been keeping them for a pretty long time now. And also some information I have collaborated together with other people and on wiki and forums. So, an important thing with these guys, they do need a pretty big size tank. About 45 gallons would be best. And you are going to want to have a ready supply of coconut fiber. Make sure you keep it pretty moist. They seem to like it that way because they do burrow a lot. Um, also with these guys, you are definitely going to want some lighting in here. You need UVB. It is definitely necessary. For the colder side... I have it at 80 to 85, which is recommended, and on the warmer side, I have it at 90 to 100 degrees. You are also going to want to have a lot of water in here, which is very important, because with my experiences with these guys, they are pretty, pe pretty picky, which is kind of annoying, but hopefully you'll get one that's not too bad. I have had problems feeding these guys though, so I make sure to keep crickets roaming around at all times in their cages, and they seem to do pretty well. These guys are scavengers, so you could try to feed them meat of some type, but that hasn't really worked out for me yet. Another thing with these guys is you can feed them roaches and waxworms. I don't recommend it though. They definitely seem to like to have moving food more. Lastly, well, not lastly, but another thing I want to add is right here, I have a very luxurious tank. You do not, I repeat, not need to keep a tank this good. I actually recommend not having this much stuff, but I like to keep it kind of good looking. So I have this fountain over here, but all you really need is a water dish, a hide. Because they love to burrow. That's all they do. You probably won't see them that much, unfortunately. Unless they are very warmed up to you. You will have to tame these guys most of the time. Especially if they come from pet stores. And one other problem with these guys is... A lot of times they're wild captured. Um, so as I was saying, you're definitely going to want to hide. Please, I mean, this really annoys me. See him burrowing right into there. It really annoys me when people don't get high just so they can see your animal. You want to provide pretty good habitat for them. I mean, after all, they're already coming out of your own tanks. I mean, out of their habitat. Even if it's their parents who are coming out of the habitat, I still want to provide a pretty nice, pretty nice tank. So please just try to give them a hide because that will make them way more happy and it will definitely make you feel good about it. So... Lastly, with these guys, they are communal, but I definitely recommend getting males because they have a really cool greenish color on their back. Females aren't as colorful, and for these guys, one of the biggest benefits of having them is their color on the back. Because as you can see, they are quite skittish. I'll try to give you a little picture here of it. Hey, buddy. See? He is very skittish. They will warm up after time, but still, it's not the best to hold them. They don't like it that much. So, until next time, guys, thank you for watching so much. I will leave additional information in the comments. And until next time, see you later. Bye. Thank you.